Black ice is invisible because it forms without any imperfections like air bubbles. Those can be caused by raindrops or strong winds, but there was no rain and the winds were calm during Friday morning's pileup on 6th Avenue. If there's snow falling or snow on the road when ice forms, it's also easier to see. But the snow stopped falling hours before the crash, and the snow that did fall earlier in the night melted on contact with the road, which means there was just a thin layer of water on 6th Avenue waiting for the road to reach the freezing point. How long it takes for a road to freeze depends on several different factors, but the amount of heat stored in the road from previous days has a lot to do with it. In the case of Friday morning's pileup, the road had a lot of heat stored in it because it was warmer than 70 degrees the two days before the storm, and the road was even absorbing sunlight through the clouds on Thursday afternoon before it started snowing. The temperature dropped to freezing at 6th and Calumeth at 7.13 p.m. on Thursday night and the crash happened more than 10 hours later. Many of the other roads in West Denver did not end up freezing over, but that section of 6th Avenue has a long elevated section, so there's cold air above and below the roadway, which means the road was cooling twice as fast. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.